Question on here that we have is, is we're going to go to one for the catchers. As a former catcher and my son's a catcher, uh, got to rep those guys here with a question. And what is the best way to protect catcher's knees? And I wish I knew then what I know now, and I wouldn't have a creaky left knee like I do. But um, the, when we look at any joint issue, joint issues, you always look above and below. So when we have a shoulder issue, like I said, most of the times I don't look at the shoulder. What I'm looking at is above, and a lot of times I'll look at the neck as being one of the areas that we'll address. And then below, I'm going to look at the thoracic spine and rib cage and how well that connects and everything in the trunk. Okay. With your knee, you have above, you have your hip is your primary joint above that and all the muscles that, that are attached to the hip, as well as the foot and ankle and all the muscles attached there. Most of the times what we're seeing is either a lack of mobility where you have very stiff ankles if you don't, or very stiff hips. If you don't have good mobility in either of those joints, you, you're going to try to make up for it someplace else and you're going to put excessive stress on your knee. So that's, that's one issue if it's a mobility issue. On the other side of the coin, you have stability or motor control issues, meaning you don't know how to, how to control or stabilize or have even the base strength in those areas. You, you can't stabilize on your foot and ankle or you, you, don't, you have very loose, unstable hips because of weak core and trunk muscles. And because of that, you hang on your joints, for lack of a better term. And so that's going to add a lot of stress. So the first key is to make sure you have good ankle and hip mobility. And we're going to go through drills uh, in our videos on how to improve that. And then from there, you have to be, you have to be stronger. And I, I noticed that even with my knees after the fact, that the, the stronger I keep my lower body, the less my knee bothers me. If, I, if, if I'm doing a lot of traveling or teaching and I don't get to train, that's when my knee starts to hurt. So the key with that is keeping a strong and mobile lower half is the, is the biggest key to protect catcher's knees.